Mikey Ho. This the introduction. Yep, I'm introducing me. Six feet, 300 pounds, known to rock the newest sneak. Cool and never fooling, rocking G-Shocks like it's jewelry. Counting mad currency, flowing better than fluently. Yeah. A man told me my years ain't match my wisdom, my camera. What's going on, YouTube fam? It's your boy, the wisest, most powerful of all nerds, the beautiful black man. Back in here with another YouTube video as to why I wanted to be a YouTuber. Before I get to that video, guys, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment below, guys, on what your thoughts about becoming a YouTuber. If you ever want to become a YouTuber, if you did become a YouTuber, why did you become a YouTuber? Don't forget to get some King Clara t shirts off my Teespring. Links will be in the description box below. And most importantly, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue to give you guys more content on a regular basis. Without further ado, Let's get on the video, guys. So, guys, if you're anything like me, and I'm 30 years old, you come from a generation where a lot of people, even to this day, thought video games is a waste of time. And sometimes it can be, guys. Too much of one thing can be an extreme. But for example, I remember growing up, my parents told me that you know video games would never uh, give me anywhere in life or help me in life, and they had a very archaic way of, of thinking. And it wasn't like I was a dumb kid or an incapable kid, but I really loved video games. I'm very passionate about video games. And there had to be some kind of value in video games because people were buying them, right? And I understood that at a young age. So one of the early career choices that I had when I was younger that I wanted to pursue when I was like in middle school, high school, was like I wanted to be a video game designer because I really, really, really loved and enjoyed video games. I wanted to work on video games. And it was something I was very passionate about. And of course, over time, you know, like, I got other things, um, fighting in particular, I'm a professional fighter, and things of that nature. But, you know, I always have a fond place for her for video games, and I always wanted to do something about that. And, you know, people were making content on, on YouTube. And uh, there's several factors to this, but um, I always wanted to do something with my life on a professional level uh, that involved video games. Uh, whether it's getting involved in, in developing video games or something, right? And I remember going to a video game tournament with one of my friends. It was around 2014, 2015, I think 2014. The, the, uh, one or two, 2014. Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U had just came out a couple months prior. And I about to start school maybe January or February, one of the two. So it could have been the end of 2014, beginning of 2015 when this happened, right before this semester started. And I'm driving back with my boy uh, Hart in the back, I think Ryan, and a actually pretty big YouTuber, or at least used to be very active on YouTube show for you guys can check out his channel he has a bunch of subscribers almost a million and subscribe to him if you can and this was way back in the beginning 2014 2015 Hart asked Shofu how much big off of YouTube okay so I know Shofu it's cool to be here a bunch of times I know he's like a big guy in the game community but my friend Hart asked him to pick up on YouTube and Shofu says I made 80 grand off of YouTube last year and like we got this twitch and several other things but off of YouTube, only say I made 80 grand off of YouTube last year. Was making Pokemon videos. So, hard follows up with the question: Making Pokemon videos whenever you want to. So, yeah, whenever, whenever I want to make YouTube videos, I just make YouTube videos, and that's how I get paid. And that's what's up. Now, I'm also very passionate about Pokemon. Very passionate about Pokemon. You know, I was delivering pizzas at the time of my life. I remember I was delivering pizzas. I love that job, honestly. But I can remember about making content about Pokemon than I do about making pizzas, <laughs> and. I'm going to school for an engineering degree and I have zero concern about being an engineer when people out there making bread off of Pokemon. Like, I feel like I'll be better contributing to society with my passion pursuing making videos about Pokemon and giving a chance to delivering pizzas or becoming an engineer. It kind of sucks where, like, you know, old way of thinking, old how you can call it, can sometimes stifle somebody from pursuing their goals or chasing their dreams. Pursuing like a YouTube career doesn't necessarily get in the way of certain things I want to uh, do in my life as far as being a business owner or being a professional fighter. It just, you got to put in the time. So and it's also a very entrepreneurial like venture for me. There's plenty of things I wanted to talk about, like comic books, which I do, movies, which I do, other factors of life, you know what I mean? Uh, sports sometimes. And, and I get to talk about those kind of things on like YouTube. And I remember this guy, uh, called Engineer Truth, Matt Tran. He got canceled for some reason, I'm not really sure, but whatever. He was talking about how he got into YouTube, where he was also going to be an engineer, and he wasn't really with being an engineer, he knew he was smart, but he wanted to do something more on YouTube, where he could more control of his life, or at least his mission, and he got into doing YouTube. And he said, 
for the first time we made six figures off off of YouTube one year. This was like probably back in 2016 or 17. And you know, I was very happy for the guy. I was like, you know, I want to get and do it. I was always big in making content. When I was 15 years old, I had like me and my brother started doing comic books. I was big into comic books. I wanted to make my own comic book. I was very passionate about comic books. And you guys can check out my comic book. It's available on Amazon right now. Zeke Fargo. I'll leave it in the description box below. I like to produce content. I like video games. So content creation was something that was very interesting to me regarding the genre, right? I, as much of a stoic believer I am about, you know, men gotta put in the work and do the work, I do agree with that. And I love putting in hard work. I'm not trying to do YouTube necessarily have an easier life or make my life easier. I'm doing YouTube because it's really something I wanna do as far as creating content is something that is like valuable to me. It's something that like, it, it drives me and I like spending effort and time on it. Even if I don't get paid right away, I like those kind of projects. It's fulfilling for me. Like kind of like, you know, if you get into the gym, you start training, you push up, you sit up, you hit the bag, you spar. It's a fulfilling process. And content creation, like making comic books, making videos, and things like that are fulfilling processes for me. And I want to get into bigger scales of that. So that's why I got into YouTube. That's what we're going to wrap this up on this why I got into YouTube thing. So guys, don't forget to like the video or dislike it if you want to. Don't forget to comment below, guys. Tell me what you guys thought about the video. And, what, uh, and if you want to become a YouTuber, please tell me why. I might make another video in the future as a follow-up. Don't forget to cop some King Camara and Brian Mises t-shirts off my Teespring and other websites. Link in the description box below. And most importantly, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue to give you guys content on a regular basis. It's your boy, Brian Mises. I will see you guys next time.